This is a Squire Affinity Stratocaster in a two color sunburst. How does it play and how does it sound? Let's find out. Hey, how's it going? I'm Landon. This is Land of 27 Music, and today we're checking out a guitar from Fender's Squire line. This is from the Affinity series. This is an Affinity Stratocaster in a two color sunburst, kind of like a blackish brown. Pretty nice, very light. Yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button on this video if you do like this video. If you've seen some of my other videos before, you'll know I break up my videos. As always, I have timestamps. Use the timestamps. You'll see how this video is going to be broken up into uh, a few different sections. I'll start off, we'll go into a, a quick walkthrough. I'll just go over the guitar, and talk about some of the specs, and uh, just walk over the guitar quickly. Not literally, I'll just talk about it. That's what I'm saying. If I walked over it, I don't think it would handle my weight. And then we'll get into like a, a really, a really deep, deep dive. It's kind of redundant. We'll get into a a shallow deep dive. I don't know what I'm trying to say. We'll get into a deep dive. We'll go into all the specs in fine detail. I'll actually take the uh, we'll take the weight of the guitar. I'll look at the pickups, check out the resistance, open the guitar, take a look at the guts inside it. Just go over everything so you can know everything about this guitar. And then we'll play the guitar. I'll put it through my Fox AC15. You see it back there. I'll put it through some clean, some dirty, and some pedals as well, some dirt pedals. Try to get the best sounds out of it that I can, hopefully. And then, stay till the end of the video, I do a summary, I do my pros and cons. Since I bought this out of pocket, I'm under no obligation to not rip it apart and uh, talk about it and say what I, what I like and what I don't like about it. Hopefully it's mainly positive, I don't like to have negative videos, but we'll see. Let's start off with the, uh, the walkthrough. So, this is a 2019 Crafting in China model, and it's, uh, like I've said a few times, it's from the Affinity line. This would be the second level up in the Squire guitars. There's Bullet and then Affinity. This one happens to be a two-color sunburst. They come in a few other different colors. It's a really nice finish. It's very, very light. Let's just go over the specs quickly. It's got standard Squire tuners. As far as I know, all the hardware on this is just like a... A cheaper metal. It's not a not the chrome that you'd find on the classic vibe series. It's okay. Um, then going down, it's a maple neck. It's got a very satiny finish, almost like a raw wood kind of feeling. So if you like that, this would be your type of guitar. Three single coil pickups. These are. Uh, I'll get into the details of what they what they are exactly later. So yeah, you got your standard uh, neck, middle, bridge. Got a, a trim system here. Five way selector cover on the back for the trim so you can get access to that and uh, change the strings as well. That's it. Nothing super fancy. It's got the 70s style head sock, which uh, is pretty nice on a, a cheaper guitar. This is a relatively cheap guitar. I got it. So I'm in Canada. I picked it up at a local shop. It was on the shelf, new. I guess it'd be new old stock because they had the old price with it. In Canada, they go for like $299 now. And this one was $259. So I managed to get it for a little bit cheaper than you would if you're gonna go buy it today in Canada. I can't recall the exact price in the US. I'll put it on the screen. Just looking at a couple things in the neck. That's gotta be, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Anyways, you guys are gonna let me know. I'm pretty sure, because it doesn't have the skunk stripe, this must be a maple fretboard that's put on top. It kind of looks like that. I'm not an expert on these. I can see a seam though, and I believe it might be. You guys let me know. Or do they have another way to do the truss rod? We'll go over that more in the deep dive. Anyways, let's get into the deep dive. 
All right, first thing I always like to do in these videos is take my scale here and weigh the guitar. And uh, that's a pretty uh, important thing for me. So we're taking a look here. This one's 3.004 kilograms, 6.623 pounds. That's super light. That's a really, really light guitar and uh, makes it comfortable. All right, at this point, we're gonna take my multimeter, plug in a, a cable and test the, uh, the output of the pickups. So we'll go through all of them, even though there's three, there's five, five selections here. So 4.38 for the neck. Neck and middle is 2.23. Just giving it a second there to adjust. Middle is 4.44. Middle and bridge, 2.23. And then the bridge, I expect that to be the hottest, 4.38. So there you go. That gives you an idea of the kind of output you can expect from these pickups in this Affinity Squire Stratocaster. All right, so here, loosening the strings, and I'm gonna loosen them, but not fully take them off, and then that's gonna let me take the uh, pick guard off, and I won't have to, it's just a little bit less work if I don't have to take the strings off, and you can put them back on a lot easier. So I'm just taking the screws off here. And uh, sometimes you don't have enough room and you'll have to take the strings off. In this case, I'm able to just loosen the strings enough and uh, there's enough clearance that the, uh, the pickups don't get in the way. So I'm able to pop it open and we're gonna flip it over and take a look at all the stuff that's inside. So just carefully trying to flip it over here. You don't wanna be too quick and rip any of the solder points or any of the cables. Have a little bit of a problem there, but managed to get it okay. There we go. So now we flipped it over and we're going to zoom in and take a look at everything. So here's the, uh, the, the uh, pots. They're full size pots. I don't know what this brand is. It's got like an S symbol. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Uh, taking a look at the, uh, the switch here, the selector switch. It's a PCB switch. It's pretty cheap. I won't, I won't lie. I don't usually lie, but I'm not going to lie about this. It's probably the cheapest switch you can get and it feels flimsy. So Pots, I was surprised they're full size. I don't know what the brand is. Here's taking a look at the pickups and each one. Just a quick close up. And then uh, taking a look at the cavity. You can see here there's no shielding, no shielding paint. I don't expect any. And um, I don't know what this is here. The word big is like stamped in this one spot here. If anybody knows what, I know big was a Tom Hanks movie. I don't know if <laughs> it's uh, nothing to do with this, but. Anyways, there's what you get inside. Just putting it back together here. There's one more thing I want to open up, and it's uh, the input jack. It just has two screws. It's very easy to take off, very, co very quick to take off. And we're just going to have a look inside the cavity here. Sometimes you see weird things. Sometimes, you know, you don't really expect too much when you look inside here. So we're going to take a quick look, zoom inside, and there we go. Pretty standard, nothing special. Have a close-up look there. The, uh, the hole looks like it was kind of routed out, a little bit weird, but doesn't mean anything. It works fine. It's got enough space, so that's where you get inside the input jack. As you don't find anything inside that I don't expect. So now just putting it back together. Again, it's just two screws. goes back together very quickly. And um, before I put all the screws back in on the pick guard, there's something that I always do first. If I've taken the pick guard off, if I've been moving stuff around, I always do what I call a tap test. And basically, all I'm gonna be doing is taking some kind of little amplifier or something, plugging in a guitar cable, and then taking a piece of metal and tapping uh, each pickup. And I'm going to each selector to make sure that they all work still. This just ensures that you've got a connection on all the pickups. It's really annoying when something gets disconnected and you don't know, and you've closed everything up, put the strings back on. I've had that happen a couple times in my life, and it's super annoying. So. Try a tap test before you close up your guitar like this. And now I can just tighten the strings. And because I didn't remove them, it's a lot a lot quicker to get this job done. And um, you can't always do this. Like I mentioned, I was able to do it this time, which uh, is definitely going to save a lot of time. So just putting them back on here. It's a matter of tightening them back up, tuning up the guitar, and it's back to normal, ready to play again. All right, and very last thing before we... Uh, get into all the specs of the guitar. I just want to open up the back cavity here and take a look at the trem springs and the trem system. And uh, so just taking off the little cover here, it's a standard plastic white cover, three springs, and you can see the trem block is pretty small. 
and uh, nothing wrong with it. I, I don't really know my trims. Looks fine to me. If you guys have any comments on this, please leave them below. You can see a little bit of fibers. It looks like some kind of material got stuck when they were doing the finish. And anyways, that's pretty much it. We're going to close it all back up and then just doing a little clean up here. Close it back up and uh, talk about all the specs of the guitar. And uh, I'll be finding those from Fender's official site. So hopefully there's no mistakes. And uh, let's do that right now. So while I'm reading back these specs from Fender, you can just have a look at all my beautiful close-up videos and shots. So we'll start basically with the top here. It's got that 70s style neck. It's a maple neck with a C-shaped profile and they call it the large headstock. Uh, body material is poplar. It's a, a gloss urethane finish over top. I mentioned before it's a maple neck. It's got a satin urethane finish on the neck. It doesn't feel like much of anything. It really feels like raw wood to me. C-shape, 25 and a half inch scale length. Fingerboard material is maple, and I'm pretty sure it's a fingerboard that's put on top because there's no skunk stripe in the back. It's nine and a half inch radius, 21 frets. They're medium jumbo. The nut is a synthetic bone. The nut width is 1.6 inch, which is smaller than a standard. Uh, the pickups, they're just listed as standard single coil strat. From what I can tell, those were ceramic, the little strip of magnet on the back. And uh, if I'm wrong, correct me, but that's what I know. Five-way switch, nothing special. I keep saying nothing special. It's this is your you know this is your standard Stratocaster, basic. Six saddle, vintage style trim. Um, the hardware finish. They say it's chrome and the standard diecast tuning machines. They were not great as far as I can. Some of them didn't turn very well. Uh, three ply pick guard, all the uh, controls and the plastic is white and it's a standard four bolt attachment to uh, the neck, to the body. And uh, that's pretty much it. It looks pretty nice close up when you look at these nice shots. All right, so you can skip ahead to the sounds at 1532. That's coming up in a second, use the timestamps. Or you can stay and just watch this stuff for a while.
back and this will be this will be my summary this will be my pros and cons and uh, I'll go over everything as I mentioned before I bought this out of pocket so I never hold back this wasn't sent to me as a demo or a, a free guitar to review so you can trust my opinion because I'll say it as it is I'll tell you exactly the condition that it was in and what I think about that so let's start with the pros if you're like me I like the 70s style headstock that's pretty cool I actually think the tones are pretty good for these pickups it's a really cheap guitar relatively cheap I don't want to knock it for being it's just not a high price guitar right it's but I thought the tones that, that came out of it were pretty good and that's you know that's a personal taste thing you let me know if you thought they were okay really impressed by the body and speaking of the body that that's part of what makes it super lightweight which is a pro to me it's really light really light comfortable to play um, nice finish overall pretty nice now we'll get into the uh, the cons and this is my own personal opinion right some of these won't be cons for people that's that's always the thing right so I'm not a fan of this kind of neck the wood the finish on it sorry this raw wood kind of feeling I like to have a little bit more finish on it that's just a personal tasting if you do like this feeling then this is perfect for you something I'll mention quickly on the shelf because I think the guitar was sitting for a while it did have I'm gonna call them spiky frets I wouldn't even say they were super sharp and I was able to take a file and buff those out really quickly recently you can check out actually I did a video on this before I bought a player Jazzmaster, and when it arrived it had super sharp frets they were sticking out they were bulging out and people told me hey you got a good deal on that guitar why don't you just you know sand those frets down it's really easy and there was a big difference between what this was which I'd call like little spiky feeling versus that I'll show some close-ups so you can see what I'm talking about the Jazzmaster was not something I was willing to work on and repair it would have taken a lot more work and, th and that's what I've seen on affinities before I've seen that kind of spiky little and the best way to describe it is there's a little tiny sharp point and if you can just wear it away with a fr with a, uh, a file it's pretty quick you can get them you can get them down pretty easily okay so I kind of got off track I'm still on my cons the metal is cheap on these they're like a I assume they're a pot metal some kind of cheaper metal that's made in China um, it actually it might be, not be the cause of it but the tuners aren't great and uh, this one here is actually really tight I don't know if you can you can actually hear the friction I don't know if I can get that you can hear it's like vibrating the whole neck and that's you know they're cheaper tuners that's something you might expect it's something you can upgrade but I wanted to point that out this could be a pro or con for me it's a con because it doesn't feel like a normal guitar the body is super thin in the future I hope to compare this against uh, a player strat or a 50s uh, a classic vibe squire and show exactly how this body is different it's, it's definitely a lot thinner so when you pick it up and you're used to a, a Fender uh, Stratocaster you'll feel a difference it just won't feel exactly like a full guitar and part of the the neck is also I believe the, uh, the nut is a little bit thinner as well so those are things to me that are con it just doesn't feel exactly like a real guitar I mean and that's just a personal thing because I've been playing full-size guitars for a long time and that's it that's it for my pros and cons overall it's pretty much what I would expect for this price of guitar so I'm not disappointed but it's not super exciting at the same time the nice thing with these is you can you can mod them if you want to I won't be in this case but it's always an option whether you can mod all the parts I can't say for sure a lot of the times the uh, the fender specs are slightly different and they won't fit in these so you might be kind of stuck trying to look for other brands to get replacement parts so anyways keep that in mind um, I think I've covered everything let me know in the comments if I missed anything if I missed any specs if you have any questions about the guitar leave me a comment I'm always happy to answer I try to get back to every comment I'm a one-man show if I made any mistakes on anything correct me I'm all about learning and correcting mistakes I like uh, I like learning all this stuff along with you I don't know anything I don't know everything I don't know I don't know I just don't know you don't know what you don't know yeah that's gonna do it that's gonna do it for this video again this has been the Fender Squire Affinity Stratocaster in a two-tone sunburst very light so light it's nice demoing these guitars because they don't hurt my back when I'm holding them like this um, 
I'll mention again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Click like on the video. Let's get this video pushed out. So yeah, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Pretty nice. I don't know what I'm thinking about.